Hi everybody, this is Tom with uh, Linux for the Windows guy. Um, this channel is where I will put all of my step-by-steps and how-tos for things that I do with Linux to augment, enhance, and support my Windows users. Um, this channel came about uh, because it, where I work, um, we just don't have the money in our budget anymore to continue to pay Microsoft's inflating licensing costs. They just keep raising costs and making things harder and harder uh, for medium-sized companies to continue to work. And um, as I started to work with Linux more and more, I found that there's some really neat solutions. The problem is, is there's so many uh, different uh, documents and how to's and sometimes even the how to is confusing to a person that is not familiar with Linux um, sometimes when you go to ask questions on forums and places the answer that they give you is more confusing than the question you had in the first place it's almost like they're speaking some other language and there's just things that you don't understand and once you've done it for a while, you start to understand some of those things and start to understand what people are talking about. But if you really haven't used Linux, it's a whole different animal than Windows. I mean, they put a GUI front end on it and try to make it look a little bit more user friendly. But on the back end, when you're really configuring it and doing things with it, it is a whole different animal. And I think a lot of times, uh, many Windows guys like me, um, you know, formerly I was a Novell guy, and then I became a Windows guy when Novell kind of dried up and went away. Um, a lot of times, people uh, don't realize the power of Linux and some of what it can do. And when they try to dive in to see if they can do something, they get so far with it, they get frustrated, they give up, and they're like, I'm just going to give Microsoft their money because I can't figure this out. And um, a lot of the Linux Jedi, you know, uh, on these forums and stuff, um, it, it sometimes almost seems like they take pride in the fact that they're so smart and they know all these things. And they kind of give you like half answers or other things and they don't give you the complete picture that you need to do these things. So my goal is to try to just do what I did, but do it in step-by-step -step processes that you can follow along with. And you can kind of duplicate my results um, and have a good reference. Uh, the other, you know, the, that's the other half of this is, is Linux is very stable, uh, very reliable. It doesn't break often. So a lot of times your Linux box may run for years and years before it has an issue or something that you need to update or fix or whatever. And you're, you will forget everything that you did when you set it up. So these videos are also a way for me for work to be able to go back and view what I did in the first place. You know, I, I have done a lot of documentation on some of my projects where I do screenshots and edit and paste them and step by step directions and make a big document. But, you know, there's nothing like just having a video um, that you can go refer to and watch the whole process as you set it up originally. And then you'll be able to use that for your documentation as well. And it saves a lot of time trying to write these huge documents. Although some documents are still necessary for quick references, for regular processes that you do often. But uh, as far as how you set up and installed and configured the solution, um, I think that the video is an ideal format for that. And, uh, you know, just in the spirit of open source, you might as well share the knowledge you have with everybody else that may want to do similar solutions so i hope you like my channel you know feel free to like and subscribe and and uh ans ask questions i'll answer them as best as i can there is no stupid question um i realize that uh, w linux can be intimidating for some windows users um you know linux jedi are welcome to hang out here and participate in the discussions as well um, a lot of my videos will have a lot of redundant information in them for your typical Linux Jedi, a lot of things they already know. But always remember that I'm making my videos from the perspective of this is somebody that knows very little or hardly anything about Linux, but is a really good Microsoft Windows IT tech person. So I welcome you, and I hope you like the channel, and uh, please feel free to comment or leave any questions.